When you are working on uh, an innovation or a joint project to develop something new, then the, the spiral of innovation can help you to see where you are in the process. The spiral of innovation identifies seven uh, separate steps in the development from the first idea, that's the first step, huh? uh, the initial idea, towards a realization. And these steps are the initial idea, then inspiration, trying to get other people uh, on board, then planning, creating space for, uh, for uh, experimenting, that experimenting, that's what you do in the development stage, and then comes the uh, realization stage in which you try to see how it will work in, in reality when the safe space of the development stage is over. When it works out well, then there will be other people who are really interested and uh, take it over and that's actually the dissemination stage. And if many people take it over, then you will see also that the structure and the people who are responsible for the structure adapt to it, you get different rules, regulations. That's what we call the embedding stage. When I first heard about Spiral of Initiative, I remember my personal experience where my project didn't succeed. And I saw it in the spiral which phase I skipped. And it's very important that you have in your mind when you're starting a new project that it's important to do all the phases, uh, not to skip one uh, or maybe repeat one. In i connect we use this tool for understanding what process, what story has developed in this innovation case. Uh, so where did it begin? Uh, how did it develop? Where were the difficult moments? Uh, how did they get over? It's very helpful to describe such a story uh, with these seven steps. I think that it's not a hard tool to use and I recommend uh, to spread the word about the tool and to use it and uh, also to coach your people you work with uh, how to use it. Mm -hmm.